So sample color. Uh, as I said, it should be clear. We can get away with yellows and reds. So if you have wine application, uh, beer, things like that, you know, send us an email. We'll uh, definitely look into that because um, that interference occurs down at the lower wavelengths. Uh, turbidity, as I said, sediment's going to distort that signal. Alkaline earth metals, uh, the group two salts. I spent a lot of time looking at those. Our, our, this is just a real quick side note. If you have an application that you know has things like calcium in the system or whatnot, let us know because uh, we'll have to kind of work around that. Doesn't behave. The sensors don't really behave the same way with uh, group two salts for whatever reason. Uh, temperature, just so you guys uh, know what our temperature limits are. Uh, the acrylic that we normally uh, coat this on is good to about 60, 65 uh, Celsius. The chemistry itself can survive up to like 110, 120. Uh, and we can coat this on polyester, on cords, on high temperature things. We actually, uh, I'm working on autoclavable patches now too that use a, it's the same peel and stick it, uh, adhesive, but it's an autoclavable adhesive. So uh, if you do have applications for, uh, you know, autoclavable, those types of sterilizable that can't use ETO or gamma, let us know because now we have that patch technology that uh, a lot of other people don't, don't think exists. And the reflective, as I said, will eliminate that color and turbidity effect. And Mongo is going to talk to you guys about that at the end of today. And it's really exciting. It uses an uh, electroformed mesh. Uh, it can be made out of nickel, polymer, gold, whatever. And uh, we're talking, you know, micron size uh, wires and holes that really just acts as a reflective barrier that still allows diffusion in and out. So common sources of error. Uh, and <laughs> despite this slide, some of the other groups earlier had this same first one. Uh, and they didn't, had to redo all their stuff. But bubbles, of course, uh, if it's pretty notorious in the dip probes. You're going to have to do visual check on that to make sure that uh, you don't have bubbles uh, in there that's going to definitely change that, that path. The hardware installation, this is always really funny. Uh, people, you know, will install things not quite right. You know, you have to make sure everything's tight and get some things like uh, uh, the set screw on uh, the cuvette holder. Let's say you have a cuvette out and set screw is screwed in a little bit, so it feels like that's the bottom. People have you know, called me saying, I have the cuvette in, but there's no change because they have the cuvette sitting on top of the set screw, so there's nothing. <laughs> so it's just going. <laughs> so yeah, just making sure the hardware is set up right. That's very, very critical, obviously. Uh, changes in the optics, uh, uh, as I said, fiber movement, things like that. We like to use bundles. Uh, normally the T300, it's called T300 because it uses the bifurcated uh, 300 micron fibers. Uh, we found that that's very susceptible to a lot of distortions and things just from basic movement. So we've uh, switched them out with these RE Bifuro bundles uh, that we use for the red eye patches, and it's very, it uh, slips right into the same sleeve, and it's uh, extremely uh, uh, robust on, uh, with movements. Ambient light usually isn't an issue. It may be in extreme situations, depends on you know if you're outdoors or things, but. That's usually corrected, uh, no problem with the uh, uh, taking a dark reference. Um, saturation. Uh, of course, if you're saturating the detector, you're not going to see any change whatsoever. So these are just basic things that are uh, good to keep in mind if uh, you know folks are saying, oh, this isn't working, or, or I'm seeing errors here and there. And equilibration time, that's another big one. These have a T90 response, 90% response in about 10 seconds. Uh, so with 15, 20 seconds, it's there. It's going to be at where it's going to be. So uh, I'll, I'll get a phone call and walk him through. And he said, OK, I'm taking pH 1 reference. And I said, OK. And he says, OK, now I just took pH 11 reference. I said, you haven't even had 10 seconds to finish you know, your sentence, much less let it catch up. So there is, obviously, with any sensing device, there is some catch up time 